You need a professional looking appendix or attachment to a report or a letter like this. And I'm going to show you how to get it in this video. Step by step, I'm going to walk through how to put together an appendix like this in Microsoft Word. Some of the key features I'm going to cover, the header, the footer, the contents, and setting up two levels of headings to uh, help us al arrange our content a bit. This sort of template is great for two, three, five pages to attach to a letter or an, as an appendix in a report to support that information, to give your reader something additional to reference to. So that's when this came up. I felt when I was putting together a letter recently, a consulting proposal for a client, I wanted to include some more technical information and it didn't seem suitable to fit in the body of a letter. I did another video about putting together letters. If you're interested, there's a link in the description below. But in this case, uh, the, there was too much information to include in the letter. So I reached for a template that I put together for an attachment like this previously uh, for a different project. And I thought this was a good opportunity to share with the people on this channel how I put together such a template. Because I feel it's a tool that every professional lead needs in their arsenal, a quick template that you can reach for when you need to put together a professional looking, say reference information, attachment, or an appendix to a report. So I wanted to share with you step-by-step step how we do that. So I've set up here uh, some brief contents that we're going to format into our template. It's got the information uh, that we're gonna format into our heading, our subheading, our contents of our appendix. Uh, I've also put in our, a placeholder for our logo and some uh, appendix or attachment, a title on the top right-hand corner. So th that forms the header and the body. Then we're going to look at the footer as well. So in the footer, we're going to put in some information about the reference number. A reference number shows that it looks nice in a professional document that's well tracked. Uh, put in the page number as well. I did have a, I was recording this just before I, I made the video. I did have a, it took me a second to figure out whether I should use page number or section number, but for a short attachment like this, say five pages long, just use the page number. Uh, if you're writing something really long, uh, it's got many sections to it, that's maybe got an introductory section, that's where you use the section number. So I just use page number here. Uh, then the setting up the styles for a new document like this, set up the normal style first because that will change the uh, baseline, the, the regular contents. Then I go over to set up the heading style. Uh, so I found out that I, I don't like the default uh, font, so I'm changing all the fonts to Arial and the color as well. Uh, this was, I wanted to use the engineered upgrade colors. So I had to go across and change them. This was a new document, so I had to set it to use the engineered upgrade colors. Keeping consistent colors is part of your branding. If you have a style guide, highly recommend following it. Uh, also investigate writing a style guide if you don't have one. I found that the headings were too, there was too much space after the headings to, uh, sorry, there wasn't enough space after the headings between the text underneath. Here's you can see words, default headings, bring that text closer together. So I wasn't too happy with that. I went into uh, the paragraph settings here for the style to change that and I also changed the font as well. So my two heading levels, well, one is with the bigger text and bold and one is with the same size text and bold. Uh, they're both using an engineered upgrade primary color by doing so. So it looked a bit bare with the content there. So I put some more writing in so that you could see what it looks like. When it goes over the line, you can see what the line Line spacing is like, put some more content in. But typically an attachment like this, I'll put in some figures or a graph or a chart or drawing, a diagram, because that's what uh, doesn't really fit inside. Say, last time I used this uh, sort of style was for a letter. I wanted an attachment for a letter. It doesn't really fit that. So coming back to the logo, I've changed the font of the logo to match the fonts that I typically use on this YouTube channel. Uh, and then I'm putting in our uh, byline as well, our little description about improving value of professionals. But I wanted the uh, header to be much bigger than that. But as you can see now, it looks a bit crowded. There's a lot going on in that header and the uh, heading, the heading number one is a bit close. So I've gone back to the style for heading number one to add a bit more space before the heading so that every time there's a new heading number one, it looks good like that. I could have also added margin to the top, which I probably should have done, but instead I've gone to make the logo smaller, to make the, the placeholder for the logo smaller, to make all that text a bit smaller so that it's not so crowded. It's uh, about the same size now as the headings so that will show up on every page. Like I said, this is a good example for a five or six page, uh, probably about up to maybe 10 page document that you want to attach to a letter. If you're looking to write something longer, check out the report template I did below. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. Check out how to write a full report template. I do step by step in Microsoft Word how to put a full template together. But for the purposes of this appendix, five to 10 pages is probably the limit of how I do it. But uh, I like to use this one, like I said, for graphs, figures, tables, extra information that I want to 
include with a letter or a report. It makes a great appendix template. It makes a great professional template, something just to reach to quickly. Uh, I first came up with the idea when I had to submit in a client format appendix, uh, some, some proposal information for a consulting job. And I thought, well, why don't we just make our own branding? We use the same template, but we add all our brand material to it. And that way we always have a professional document ready to go. So uh, as a professional, it's something I like to do to have templates ready to go. I feel that adds the value that I'm improving my functionality in the workplace, improving the things that I can do by preparing these templates for my colleagues to easily grab. It meets all the style guide and branding material of our organization, of our company. And it looks professional when we put it in front of a client that everything looks consistent. And that's the sort of thing I like to do on this channel to improve the value of professionals by increasing the functions that they can do or decreasing the resources that it takes to do them. So making things more efficient. My name's Chris, this is Engineer upgrade. Uh, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.